Greetings friends, it's a cheeky night time one with some red light. Uh, I suggest you do this if you have a shed. Buy a 250 watt Ever Ready heat lamp and one of these uh, ceramic connectors and then mount it to the roof of your shed. And then when I stand here, when I'm sort of right there, this beams straight down the back of my neck and is very pleasant. It was only a tenner for the bulb and the Ever Ready ones will give you a few thousand hours and it was about £2.50 for the ceramic bulb holder which is a screw-in type and then it's just got a negative and a uh, earth and neutral, sorry, live and neutral wire going in. So yeah, that's wicked. Anyways, I'm deadly serious about using this on a bike, uh, which probably sounds weird, but I'm hoping to mount this wiper motor direct to the crank using something like that. That's just a socket with 8mm on one end and I think it's 3 8 on the other, which is going to be too small. But we're not interested in that for now. In the last video, I basically ran the wiper motor off this 3S battery that I've got, which is basically just an old recycled battery pack. They're the green Sony batteries, which are usually absolute rubbish. I've never found them to be any good. Uh, but these three seem to work fine, so I just changed the configuration. Uh, and then, yeah, that's it, six batteries. But what I want to see is if we can run it. Sorry, what I want to see is if we can run this off a 4S battery, because then that would give us more capacity. I've got I've got loads of these which are actually three batteries wrapped together. These cells, even though they're quite old now, they were out of Dell laptop packs. You see that 15.66 watt hours. And the reasoning is the reasoning is I'm just gonna get a pen to show you. The multimeter is off, so the 3S, that has a theoretical maximum value of 12.6 volts, uh, which is 4.2 volts theoretically per cell. Now, I would say the usage limit of that, you don't want to go anywhere below 9 volts, okay? Uh, because that will give you 3 volts per battery, and that's considered very flat. If you go under 3 volts per cell, you can have problems. But this is what this leads us to with the 4S is that that has a maximum theoretical voltage of 16.8 volts. That's four of these in series. These cost, uh, each laptop battery pack cost a pound 50 and it had, each one had four of these in. So it's all good. Uh, that would give us a sort of minimum value of 12 volts. Okay, now what we need to work out, and there's only one way of doing it, is if th this will take 16.8 volts, and I think it should do. Uh, what will happen is the battery voltage will drop quite quickly But I'm interested to see how long it will run for because that one This one this battery pack here ran the starter motor with a heavy weight on it uh, For 16 and a half minutes with no problem and the battery went down to about 10.4 So I'm just going to quickly build a battery uh, I've got my soldering iron on I'm going to quick. Yeah, I'm going to quickly build a 4s battery. I'll need one more cell there. I'm just going to, for caution's sake, put a plus and minus on the tops. Right, so basically, I'm just going to show you, it's pretty simple. So the positive power comes in here, and then we're connecting that, 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 and then the negative goes here. I'll just show you out of interest if you are interested. If you had balance leads, uh, you would have the positive power and the negative power coming in either side like a normal battery. And then the balance leads would go here. One would, balance lead one would go there, balance lead two would go there, and balance lead three will go there. Because you can see the balance leads need to be in between the two batteries or where the two batteries meet. So a 3S, uh, sorry, a 4S battery pack, the balance lead would have five the plug would look like that basically and if it was a 3s then it would have the positive on the out it would only have four uh, because if it was a 3s it would have the positive on one side negative in the other and then it would only have two balance leads which would be one and two but our one will have three balance leads i do have quite a few of these enough these are all in threes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen lots of three, plus some there. So that's what we've got to work with.
I've got to be honest, these connectors are a pain in the ass. Some of them I've sanded off. Uh, but it's just a case to get the soldering iron mega hot and just get the stuff stuck to it. Right, let's go. Basically, clean up the ends, solder the ends, simple wiring job as I showed on that bit of paper, and then we'll put it on charge and then we'll connect it to the wiper motor. Uh, we'll use this meter and that'll be done. Cheers. I do have a multimeter, so let's just test them for interest sake. Right, number one, 3.62, number two, 3.7, number three, 3.76, number four, 4.12. I'm just gonna find another one that matches these more closely. One around 3.7 or 3.8. 4.13. Three point nine, that'll do. Pay attention not to hold the soldering iron across the two connectors because then you're shorting the battery. Now we're going to join the uh, cell two and three together. Now we join cell one and two together. And now cell three and four together. And then we're ready to put it on charge. Actually, we'll see what we'll see what the voltage is. We might use it as it is. What I'm gonna do, instead of using a multimeter, I might as well just plug them into this. So they connect to the source end. The amps are definitely higher that it's drawing. Let's get that chonker on there. Seven and a half kilo weenies. Right. What I want to do, let's put a marker on it, see if we can sit, see if we can work out how fast it's going. It's going about 60 RPM, I think. So yeah, that's pretty good. I'm on eight minutes now of the video, so I'm gonna leave that going for 15 minutes. I did say we don't wanna take the batteries below 12, but I will make an exception this one time. You can see it's going down fairly quickly. But I mean, you're getting quite a lot of power, aren't you, for 23 watts, I think. I'm going to leave that recording. I'll come back in 10 minutes. Actually, the voltage is dropping too much, really. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stick this pack that I've just made on charge. Finally managed to get it working. Uh, the other one is malfunctioning, the other charger, and it, you can't go backwards in the menu, if that makes sense. So I've got it running off one of the wind turbine batteries. We'll get them full and we'll see what effect that has on the motor. Cheers. Right, so that's been on charge a while from the wind turbine battery. So I'm going to disconnect that and then run it to the starter motor and see what he's saying. So I've just connected the battery up. It 
that's looking a bit wobbly there but that's fine I've noticed the higher amperage here and we're using 35 watts I'm gonna leave that recording for a few minutes and then we'll come back Well, that's actually been going 15 minutes now and it seems like the battery's found a second wind from somewhere. Although we can see the amperage has dropped quite a lot from where I started. I am in the process of making a bigger battery and would definitely want to run with a 4S one rather than a 3S one. Interestingly, the motor's getting warm. 40 degrees. And the actual weight is 13.5, so it's definitely getting warm. Warmer towards this end. Right, I've only got another five minutes of uh, memory card before that runs out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it on for five minutes and see what temperature that gets to. But it's definitely going up. I'm very impressed with that because it's only four cells. That's all it is. We've got the four cells to the meter and then to the wiper motor. So I'm impressed it's staying above 14. Right, so that's been just over 20 minutes. So that's definitely getting warm. I'm going to disconnect it and watch as the battery voltage goes up. Oh, disconnected the wrong thing, that's fine. I think it was on just under 14. There you can see it's going up a bit. 14.99, so that's a very interesting experiment. And when I get some more batteries wired in, we can give it another go and run it for longer. But that definitely shows that some fully charged batteries will move the motor properly. Cheers.